So the next match coming up is going to be between Goa Snipers and the Hyderabad Ballers. And wearing the blue jerseys, Goa Snipers, Niall Smith with number four, number six, Chris Viresh, Harish Sharma, and Raghavendra Singh. Wearing the orange jerseys, uh, number five, Arvind Venkatakrishna, Rohit Lokareddy, number seven, Safalya Patra, and Iban Himes with number nine. Welcome, Mahesh. Iban had a really, really big game. And what do you think is the matchup between Iban and Niall Smith? Uh, I like the matchup. You know, both the uh, crafty guards. Uh, I think it'll be it'll be tough to see how um, how they match up together. I'm looking forward to it. And I think this matchup looks like it's going to be size versus a little bit of added speed in Goa snipers. So, which do you think is going to hold up? I don't know. This is one of those games that I think might be a 50-50. It's a couple of the other games that. Uh, I've had an idea of how I think it will play out. This one might be a bit tougher, I think. Let's find out. Loka having opened the scores for Hyderabad has also played very well for his team. So it's going to be Sniper's ball with Niall Smith. Chris Viresh. And that's that sideline we're talking about that's a bit narrower. A lot of the players have to be mindful of that. A lot of turnovers in that corner. I think we'll have to rename the sidelines as Terminators and uh, probably give uh, Bikram something else. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think so. Ivan Hyams knocks it down from the perimeter big, and takes a knockdown to the floor. Big play there from Ivan. Um, a reckless foul from Raga. You know, he's got to be a bit smarter, a bit more disciplined in that situation. Can't give up an opportunity for a, a three-point play with a two-pointer. Ivan still maintaining hot form from his previous game. Not able to make it a three-point play. That was Niall Smith with the rebound. Chris Viresh. Rebounded by Ivan out to Arvind. Arvind back to Ivan. A nice move there. Nice move from Ivan. He has to finish that. Uncharacteristic for him to miss that. He's normally a great finisher around the rim. Niall Smith tries to take it in ball is strip. A little bit of frustration from Niall Smith. Let's see if Goa can get on the board with a stop and convert it into a bucket here. Arvind Krishna with a long two. Back to Loka. Loka losing the ball. Niall with the ball out to Chris Viresh. Open three here for now. Let's see if they can get on the board. Ball is out of bounds. Pass there by Arvind, not quite able to complete it. Nile. Another turnover there on the sideline. Uh, we're seeing that a lot right now. Especially for some of these bigger guys with, with bigger feet. They really have to be careful of that sideline. Nice Andre. step back there from Iban. Unfortunately, it's shot to drop. That was a very good one. It, it should have been, you know, the shot should have been completed though. That's right. Let's see if Goa can get on the board here. Yet to score. Loka with the ball for Hyderabad. Ivan losing it. And Harish checking in for Goa. Let's see if he can provide something. Chris bringing the ball out. Spots up for a jump shot. Rebounded by. Ivan. Open three here for Arvind. Let's see if he can get his fans to go crazy. Oh, in and out there. Close one. He seems to be having some kind of a problem with his hand. He's been constantly nursing it and he has a wrap around it as well. Loka. Niall Smith with the ball for snipers. And yes, Niall makes it. Open there we scores. go. 
Finally, for now, I think that'll do his confidence a world of good. Let's see if he can open up the scoring a little bit more. Hide the bat right there, have to get the ball to his barn, I think. You know, every time he touches the ball, good things happen. A nice bank shot there. Hide the bat, open up a two point lead. Rebound pulled down by Ivan. Ivan tries to take it up to the hoop. Contested by Nile. Nile back out. Loka with the ball. Ivan, the long two. That's Nile fouled by Arvind. Sends Lau Smith to the line. Pretty low scoring game right here. Definitely is a low scoring game. We saw a couple of games like this so far, Mahesh. It was pretty low and after about say seven minutes or so, they picked up. They didn't go into double digits until seven minutes. Yeah, I think that um, tends to be the case. A nice and run there. Get to the free throw line, let's see if he can convert. So that tends to be the case, I think. Um, legs start to go after the first few minutes. Defense starts to become more laps and teams start to open up on the, on the, on the scoreboard. That's true, and uh, Loka had a pretty big game, uh, the previous game as well, and he started contributing more offensively rather than just being a defensive player. So this is a big thing and a good thing for Hyderabad as well. Definitely, he's their inside presence this round. Um, and they have to try and um, make the most of that. And then Niall comes back with the and one there. He's a lot tougher down under the rim than, than people, I think, would assume. You know, he, he comes across, you assume that he's quite small. But, you know, down there, he's pretty tough. And he's a pretty good rebounder for his, for his height and position. Um, I think it just displayed that right there. Ivan Hyams, that was amazing. That's a better finish right there. When he gets into that one-two step, and he extends that left hand. You can normally count it as a bucket. He's great in that type of situation, and we can just we can see that right there. Goa closing in with one more. He's on fire, Mahesh. Yeah, he's starting to cook a little bit. You can see that confidence. You know, it makes one. All of a sudden, it makes another two-pointer. It's a nice assist there by Chris to Niall Smith. Great answer. I think it's important for Chris and Niall to start developing some chemistry. Um, and they, they started to show that last round. Let's see if they can build on it right here. If Raghavendra can also start, uh, st start contributing to Goa, it will might make their job a lot easier on the floor. But uh, he's playing more defensively than offensively, uh, Mahesh. So it's Definitely. a little harder for Nile to, you know, you can't be completely dependent on Nile to bring the points to, to the scoreboard. Doubt. I think um, Rav is one of those players who's quite streaky from the three-point line. If he makes a couple of those, I think it'll really help go around a lot. And he has the ability to make that shot. You know, I've trained with him a little bit um, in between the rounds, and I've seen I've seen his ability to knock down the long ball. Um, so if he can start doing that, I think it'll help go around a lot. Arvind Krishna will be sitting out for a bit and Safalya Patra coming in, so there's going to be more size on the floor. Safalya is definitely a defensive presence for Hyderabad. Um, let's see if they can, um, I think they're trying to slow the game down right now and try and make it tough for goal to score. Loka with the ball, Ivan tries to take it and kicks it out to Safalya Patra from Nice pass there from Ivan to get an open shot. And that's tough when you're coming off straight on the court. You know, haven't touched the ball yet. To get that first shot up is always a bit tough, you know. Chris Viresh having missed that one. So it's going to be Hyderabad ball. And Hyderabad have a two-point lead right now. And Ivan taking it up. But defensive effort by Goa Snipers. 5.35 remains. Definitely Chris just reaching in there. Giving the refs no option but to call that foul. And Ivan steps to the free throw line. Makes one. Chris Varesh for Goa Snipers. This passed into Loka's hands. 
Iran with the ball. A nice turnaround jump shot there from Raga. That's what he's capable of doing. Let's see if they can get him going a little bit. Let's see if they look to get him the ball on the post a little bit more. And quite unlike what it appears to be, this it's just a two-point deficit and it's not like Goa cannot make up for all this. But it just seems that, you know, um, the Hyderabad ballers are getting more action on the floor with the ball. Definitely. I feel like Hyderabad's points have been have come a lot easier than Goa's points. But like you said, it's at the end of the day it's a it's a two point game and, and that's very easily made up for, especially with the likes of well, Niall Smith and, and Chris Varesh who have the have the ability to make the long ball. Four minutes fifty remain and Hyderabad have nine and Goa have seven. This is what I like, you know, Raga had a nice play, last last possession on turnaround jump shot and there we go, two in a row right now. I like that from Goa there. Really. But what I can't understand is Mahesh, do you see Loka's defensive position over there? He didn't even raise his hands to contest that shot. It's not enough if you stay with your man. You also have to use your hands for defense. Definitely, especially Loka has the ability to be quite long and um, influence shots. And he should really contest that. And Raga here is going on a bit of a tear. A great pass there from Chris. You know, he's a very unselfish point guard, has the ability to facilitate very well if you get into right positions. And Raga there, stepping to the line to complete the air one play. Let's see if he does so. Raghavendra missing that one. Iban with the rebound, pulling it down. Loka putting it up. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Very, very crucial bucket there to give Hyderabad the lead again. Let's see if Goa can answer right now. has been having quite uh, a very quiet game so far because he's not been his explosive best at all but then again Nile is literally flows like the Nile you know he's very smooth with his handles and things like that definitely I mean he doesn't say too much but you know a couple of those looks that he's getting a couple of those shots are quite wide open so I don't expect him to miss those for much longer Raga missing them Iban tries to turn around and drop it in this guy is hot, Ivan Himes. And you can see he's quite animated there. He believes that should have been an and one. And I think he might have a case there. Oh, the ref's really letting them play right now. Arvin finally getting it and his fans are ecstatic with that. It's a big point. time shot there, big time shot. Oh, and Lyle with the answer. That's, that's a well needed bucket there for Goa. Now Hyderabad opening up the floodgates a little bit. Ooh, and a Chris nice Varesh. and one there from Chris Varesh. Great finish there. He has very good hang time off that left foot. When he gets into his one-two and takes off, you can see he hangs in the air for an extra second, absorbs the contact, and puts that rim, uh, puts that ball right on top of the rim. Let's see if he can convert the three-point play. 324 remains in Hyderabad, half 15, and Goa half 11. It's a fairly evenly contested game, although Hyderabad really look like they're getting more action on the floor than Goa, but Goa have been catching up. It's timely buckets by Chris Varesh and Niall Smith. But it's being replied by Ivan very consistently. And containing Ivan is not an easy joke for these guys, you know? Definitely. Ivan's had a, had, a, had a great round so far. He, he carried them in the first game. And, and this game, he's... He's come back and he's, he's backed up his performance. Um, but let's see, I think Goa still have one more push in them. Let's see if they can turn this into a game. Missing this one. Nile has the rebound and a put back as well. Oh, a trap in the corner here. Oh, now Smith takes the ball away. And the Terminator got the best of Nile there. Out of bounds right there. A drop pass there to Ivan. Ivan not able to make it. Loka with the rebound. Loka with the put back. Yes, Loka makes it. Chest bumping and there's a lot of emotion right now for Hyderabad ballers. Definitely. That was a big time bucket there from Loka. They needed that one. Let's see if they convert it at the free throw line though. game away 
away a bit by bit. Nile unable to make that one. Raghav not able to hold the rebound as well. Unlucky there now. Wide open shot. He has to take that one, you know. defense over there a little aggression called the foul on the ground there so go a ball from the top Loka hustling defense having the ball Ivan for a long two Niall Smith out to Chris Viresh. Chris for a two. A lot of open shots Goa have missed. Um, you know, if they converted those, could have been a game. They're still not out of it. But uh, they're going to need some quick buckets in a hurry right now. And that foul helped them out a lot. I think that puts Hyderabad to six fouls. So the next one will be two free throws. They need stops though. And the way Barnes playing, I don't know if they're going to be able to get them. Arvind spotting up for a two. Nile with the rebound. Raghavendra back out to Chris. Chris tries to take it in. And yes, makes an easy jumper there. Not contested by Ivan. Very good footwork there. Like I said, I think I alluded to this last time, last round. Chris is very crafty under the rim there. You know, he uses his footwork very well. And his body control is great down there. Easy to almost unchallenged over there. That's that left handed extension from Ivan that resulted in a layup. Uh, he's very good when he gets the ball into his left hand like that. The crowd is loving every second of this. for a bit. Loka has contributed fairly well offensively and defensively, Mahesh. So his contribution is actually quite instrumental because Arvind has not been able to deliver on the offensive end for uh, Hyderabad ballers. So I think if Ivan is getting a lot of support from uh, Loka and when Safalya comes in he's like you said he's a good defensive player too definitely I think um, the more contributions you can get across the board the easier this game becomes like we already said you can't really rely on one player too heavily um, and as you can see here Ivan getting patched up uh, from the physio Goa have a lot of work to do. Come back from a five-point deficit. They need stops right now. Can't let Hyderabad score the ball. And they need to turn that into quick points on the other end. And good to go right now. Ivan with the ball for the ballers. Spots up for a two. minutes and four seconds remain off a screen not able to find Loka the open man a rainbow attempt there by oh, I don't mind that shot you know single digits on the shot clock good look at it go and need this to go oh a bit short on that and that tends to be the case when you get this late in the game your legs start to go you end up short and that was a really nice pass from Ivan to Loka under the basket and making an easy one there. A great pass there from Ivan to find the open man, Loka finishing it. I have a feeling Ivan might, might take a, might take a two-pointer to finish this right here. I won't be surprised because he's, he's on a roll today. Oh, he took one! Check 
that out. I think there seems to be an issue with the score right now. Trying to figure that out. Referees coming to the score bench, trying to figure out this score problem. Let's see what the result is. Well, if Ivan can have his moment of glory in a minute and 24. One more exciting shot for us, Ivan. That will give it to us. I think that's what, that's what the people want to see. Niall Smith spotting up for a two. Rebounded by Ivan. Ivan wanting to ice this game. Fancy handles there, takes it out, almost losing it. Passing it out to Arvind. Arvind to Loka. Loka for a jumper. Will he make it? No, but Chris Viresh has the ball. For a two, but he's fouled. New discipline foul there from Loka. Got to let the shooter land there, you know. And Chris steps to the line to shoot. Two free throws right now. Making both this is. He missed both free throws. They are uncharacteristic for Chris. Normally a, a knockdown shooter expensive. from the free throw line. Definitely. Raghavendra. Big shot there from Raghav. Let's see if they can get a stop now, Goa. Very important for this last 56 seconds that they don't let, obviously don't let Hyderabad score the ball, otherwise it's game. So if they can get a stop and some quick points, they can turn this into a game. But I, I don't like the look on Iban's face. I feel like this might be game right here. Iban is determined to finish this game, so, right. but it's great that Goa is still able to carry on. That's Chris there with a go. big two. Turn it into a three-point game now. Here they come, Goa. You know, he's got a lockdown on the defensive end here. Out to Loka. Loka is in Loka's hands right now and he's fouled by Raghavendra. I think that might be a shot clock violation. And that's right, shot clock violation there, so go and get the ball back. Loka can't quite believe what happened. He was hoping to have two throws there. They need a quick score here, Goa. Niall Smith, Chris, can he do this? No missing it, just 17 seconds on the clock. Two good looks there, Raghav had a great look at a three, Chris had a great look at a three. Now a Hyderabad ball here with 15 seconds, let's see if they can close it out with a bucket. Ivan tries to go in and close this game, but Niall was there to make sure that didn't happen already. Quick hands there from, from now. The refs call a foul. No, I believe. They've called a bit of a miscommunication here with the referees. A lot of join going on there. Who's to have the ball, but it's going to be ballers with the ball. And I don't mind that. You know, it's always good to see competitive juices flow. Ivan is determined to finish it in 21 rather than go down to the 10 minute mark. That's right. So he's, he's like a tad desperate to get it over and done with. I think so too. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of a victory celebration he's going to have after this is done and dusted. I think, he'll be, I think he'll be quite excited because Hyderabad would have gone 2-0 if they win this game and that'll wrap their first place up in their pool for tomorrow's finals. Seems to be a few issues here with the referees. I'm not sure. They can't seem to get on the same page. Okay, they've called Goa's ball here. 
Sniper ball. Lyle Smith back to Chris. Out to Raghav. Great defensive play there from Arvind to wrap it up. And that is the end of the final whistle and Hyderabad have their 2-0 victory. A clean record so they have marched into the quarterfinals with ease and Iban is the man of the moment for Hyderabad. Completely excited and the crowd is completely jubilant about the fact that their team has gone into the quarterfinals with much ease. And, you and can that's, see. A, that's the final score. Hyderabad Ballers beat Goa Snipers 2016.